Nothing warms a body like... You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Levioso. Protego. Confringo. Revelio. Levioso! Everything's alright now. Meet, here I come. Come in. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself... I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Levioso. Assignment's all finished.
Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Can't say I'm... I take it you're ready to learn your... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done! Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombarda! Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Alohomora. Revelio. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelio. Alohomora. Must have snuck in after I fell asleep. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I, I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. With us. But I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. Once night falls. Now that it's night, I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty. Revelio. A pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. Revelio. 
More gold. I must be getting closer. Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Revelio. Rebellion. It wasn't Catherine Haggerty after all. Levioso. <laughs> Revelio. Levioso. I have the Niffler. Now to look for the Haggerty family heirloom. Be the Haggerty family heirloom. Revelio. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a Niffler. A, a, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But I suppose... Mangy little blighter. 
Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. I found your heirloom, and I'll give it back to you. For a price. Huh? I suppose that's only fair. Very well. We'll call it a reward. Sounds more decent that way. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. What a strange world we live in. Suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers' best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps... 
Perhaps we can find out why. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelt. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Revelio. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armour. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Why oh, is the mouth round here? Can't say I'm on. The pulse! No! They have the control! Protect us! Send you! Glacier! And bring us! You just don't suck me! Bombarda! to find out. were in Hogsmeade so much, likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Sinking 
straight at bargain with them. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me. No one hides from me. I'll spot you like a streeler. Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not with that one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even hold it, shall we? Dragon Egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Alohomora. the egg. Ready. The elements... Rebellion. Only need by us a few seconds. Let's make them count.
but see you survive that hate. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle.
Not especially quiet, are you? Crucio. What? learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. <sighs> Can we meet at Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Revelio.
whisper it in my ear. I won't be upset. How could I raise an eyebrow to you of anything other than pure joy? Revelio. Revelio. The Grey Lady. I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. Rebellion. So this is the underground harbour. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration? Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humour me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. If that's the only way I can convince you to give me that book, then let's get it over with. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snuggery. No, incorrect. The answer was the Golden Snidget. The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? The pepper up potion. I'm afraid the answer was Felix Felicis. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The founder's relics. No, the answer was the Deathly Hallows. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consist of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. That's right! 
When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false? Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. True. Actually, the answer was false. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. You've answered all of my questions. Ah, oh, it's nice to know there's another student who appreciates the value of knowledge. You might not have got very many right, but I'm sure you learned something regardless. Thank you for humouring me by participating. I had a splendid time. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Revelio! Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Lumos! Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, 
excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it any time soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I'm fascinated by ghosts and um, food. And I was interested in learning more about the castle and the surrounding area. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Thank <laughs> you.